Hello everybody and welcome to Just Sophie Knits, my knitting corner on YouTube. If you're a new viewer, welcome and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, it's not that long since I recorded my previous episode, uh, but uh, I have my annual leave. I had a lot of knitting time since we had to cancel our uh, traveling plans due to my COVID-19 uh, uh, infection. So. Uh, I had a lot of knitting time, but don't worry, I'm better now. It's only sometimes I have a little cough, uh, but it's more like if I'm going from cold to warm or if I like lay down uh, just like the first minutes. So I'm fine. Uh, we are enjoying our holiday now uh, in Belgium. We have a complete list of stuff we want to do already for years now. So like yesterday, uh, yesterday we went to a summer bar in Antwerp, which was really nice. Today we will go to a labyrinth uh, in the mice, uh, in the corn, sorry. Um, so it will be really nice to do uh, and we have a lot of plans. The weather should stay like this, uh, so 28 degrees more or less. Uh, only on Friday it will be uh, a less good day. It should be raining, uh, which would be good for the garden and the nature in general. But then we will go indoor skiing. So we have a lot of plans. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, but I have a lot of knitting to tell you, of course. First of all, what am I wearing? I'm wearing my Anutop from Bray Belly. It's a camisole knitted in Sira from Borgo di Pazzi. It's perfect for today, actually. And that's also one of the reasons I'm recording today, because I'm wearing this uh, top. It has a lace uh, detail under the arms. Uh, and I just love it. Um, next time I might just shorten the strips a little bit because by wearing they have stretched a little bit so they are uh, quite long but it's still okay I guess you don't see anything you shouldn't see and it's a summer top anyway so not for work or something just for uh, pleasure and uh, free time. So that's the first thing uh, I want to show you. Then the next thing is another release of one of my older finished objects. Just a moment. I will take the objects. So this is my sundial sweater from Hyris Makes. I will pop a picture of me wearing it as well. Um, this has been released last weekend, so uh, please go and check it out. It's a lovely sweater. It's just way too hot to wear it now, so I won't take it and put it on. But it's a really nice sweater. Um, it will be really great for autumn, although I think it might be better for winter because I used whole super soft and drops kit silk mohair, so it's a really, um, really warm one. Although for autumn, outside without wearing a coat, it might be great as well. So those are two older finished objects, but I have some new as well. And I will start with something that was crocheted by the grandmother of my husband but I made a pillow cover out of it. So this is the crochet uh, thing. And then at the back I have added some rip uh, fabric to make a pillow. So uh, I will pop a picture of our uh, living room with those as well. So that's a small finished object because it only took me 10 minutes to sew them, but I love it. I made two, well, she made two covers, so I made two uh, pillow covers as well. And then, first finished object is a pair of socks for my husband. Um, last time I already started them, uh, but then uh, they, they were supposed to be my traveling project, but when I uh, got infected I, with COVID, I thought it would be the perfect project to knit on. I wasn't really ill, I had like a really small fever for two days, and then um, more of a bad cold, so it was really fine, but it's always better to have something to knit on. So they don't have any pattern actually, it's uh, some detail I have added. It's not really a, a success, the detail, but yeah. <laughs> That's how we learn now. Uh, they are just normal uh, Vanilla socks, uh, 64 stitches, um, yeah, as he likes them, um, yeah, I don't know 
what to say actually because it's just a plain vanilla pair of socks in opal yarn. The colorway is Ocean Blue Lagoon. The flu of the needles, he loves them, but he didn't wear them yet because if it's 28 degrees, you don't wear woolen socks then. So that's more or less, yeah, the thing about the socks. But I suppose he will be wearing them soon uh, when the weather gets colder. So, two socks. <clears throat> Another pair of socks then for myself, this time these. I don't have my sock blocker with me because one of my other socks is drying on it um, after I had worn it. So this is a colorway um, I had from Atelier Het Wolbeest as one of the quarterly sock club uh, skeins. This was the May color. Uh, it's actually uh, based on a flower. So yeah, the heel is just a Mia wool yarn, so uh, don't, uh, don't think about that. But um, yeah, it's a really nice yarn, actually. Uh, I started this on the day I uh, knew I had COVID, so I had the easy part in the beginning, like the rib and the leg. And then when I noticed uh, how the yarn was knitting up, I thought it was uh, better to have a four top heel instead of doing um, like a normal heel flap and gussets. Uh, so I did. You said this is the very first time I did a uh, four top heel. I will just show you. Like it's easy to uh, yeah to store your socks actually because you can just <laughs> do it like this. Um, it's not perfect, of course, because it's the very first time, so I have little holes at the sides. So I'm looking into tutorials to improve that. Uh, but I'm sure, um, yeah, I will go, uh, I will get better at it because it's only the first time. I normally don't wear purple, but I'm really happy with these socks. I have worn them once already. The first day I could leave the house, it was quite warm, just 24 degrees, I guess. Uh, but I really wanted to wear them. Um, they really hold up well, although my feet were sweaty. So I'm really happy because a few episodes ago I showed you my socks from Lilia, who didn't uh, really like my feet. So that's why um, yeah, I was really anxious to see my socks at the end of the day. But they're fine and I'm really happy with it. I still have some yarn left. Uh, it's downstairs actually. Um, so I will knit more with it, uh, of course, but I uh, still have to look for some combinations. So, both socks are knitted on 9 inch circulars, by the way. Um, and I do notice that my gauge is slightly looser on 9 inch circular compared to, compared to the other methods. So for myself, I will change uh, from 60 stitches to uh, 56 stitches. Um, for nine inch circulars with this yarn in the next uh, in the next version. So that's uh, finished objects sock wise, but I have another finished object. Uh, this is my Felix cardigan. I will pop it on, but it's warm, so I will not keep it on. So this is my, I'll just button it up. Not completely because it's way too warm to button up. Okay, we will just do three buttons, I guess. <laughs> that should be fine. Okay, so this is the Felix cardigan. Um, here you have a detail with uh, lace on the raglan. You cannot see it really well, but I'm planning to wear a red t-shirt underneath, so you should be able to see it better then. Um, I will stand up. It's an oversized cardigan, but not too oversized. Um, I use... Uh, knitting for Olive, Olive Double Soft Merino and uh, Drops Brushed Alpaca Silk for this. It's way too hard, I don't take it off. Um, so you get a beautiful marbled effect of the yarn, which I really like. <clears throat> so I'm really, really happy with this one. Um, it's knitted, I, I have knitted it on 7mm needles, so I'm really happy uh, with the result. It flew on the needles because I'm knitting all the rest of my projects on four millimeter needles. This one is on seven or was on seven, so it was went really really fast. Um, I haven't taken any pictures of me wearing it yet. Well, in, 
except for one selfie I will pop here. Uh, but uh, I will soon, as soon as the weather cools down a little bit, uh, then I will, there, I will take some pictures uh, and share them on my Instagram, of course. I'm planning on making more Felix cardigans, maybe size down, um, to have less positive ease, because I'm not a positive ease girl. <laughs> I like positive ease, but not too much. Although this is still fine. So um, I will wear this a lot this uh, autumn and winter, because the color is also really easy to combine with dresses. Uh, tops, whatever. It's a really nice color to combine, so I'm sure I will wear this a lot. And that's all concerning uh, the finished objects, but of course I have some whips. And the main whip I'm working on for the moment is, just a moment, if it was not finished, yeah, uh, is the Cosmo Cardigan from Rust Knitwear I'm testing. So I will just show you. And I will just show you the detail of the, like, um, there is a cable and then the broken whip stops and you have just plain stockinage. So I'm knitting on the body for the moment. It's in a combination. I, I use recommended yarn being the Sunday from Sunday's Garden and the Thin Silk Mohair. Um, I like it. Um, it's really nice yarn to work with, especially the Thin Silk Mohair. But it's expensive. I paid 102 euros for the yarn, which is the most expensive cardigan I will ever own, I guess. Well, we never say never because it's not the most expensive yarn that exists, of course. But for me, this is borderline expensive. I can afford it, but I'm not sure if I want to afford it in the future. That's why I chose a dark blue color, because in that way it will be easy to combine with a lot of stuff I have because I have a lot of things that are easy to combine with dark blue. It will not go out of fashion uh, because if you take a more special color you have the risk that it goes out of fashion which will not be the case with this one. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's why I chose this color. Um, but I will make more of this cardigan in the future, I guess. Well, so far, I'm not that far ahead, of course, but I really, really enjoy knitting it. It's uh, first you have a chart to have the raglan increases, and it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's a lovely pace to knit on it. Um, now you have the cable that's uh, like uh, it stops the broken rib and continues then in the stocking it and I really really like it so yeah I'm really looking forward to uh, make more of these but in other yarns I was thinking maybe a drops flora with a drops kit silk mohair or I have the lift leftovers from my um, sundial sweater because I was kindly well slightly overestimated the yardage needed it was kind of pants too uh, so I have plenty of the uh, whole super soft and drops kit silk mohair of that one left so it should be fine as well but um, I will make more because Simone this is such a lovely pattern and um, the test tip is really lovely as well we have a really nice group of people uh, it's also really nice because uh, Brie from Nectar Nitty Chats uh, we have been testing the Farfa top from the Knit Pro Girl in the past together and um, yeah I like since then I'm still chatting with her on Instagram and it's really nice uh, that we're testing the same cardigan in the same size actually so go and check her out as well both on Instagram and on YouTube. Concerning the yarn I bought it at Wally Wonka in Mortsel um, it's a local yarn shop to me uh, it's the, the closest yarn shop that uh, stocks uh, the Sunday or anything from Sam this garden actually but it is a mess, like, well, a mess is not really great to say a mess, but there's so much yarn and the structure of the shop is not sufficient to hold all the yarn. So you really have to look for the yarn you're looking for and the color you're looking for to see if there is enough. Um, there are racks and boxes and dye lots are just all over the place. So it's really, if you go there, you really have to look for what you want and pay attention to the dialogues. 
because they are not prodiolots. Uh, so, but it's also the cheapest uh, shop for uh, sandals in Belgium. So, well, like for the 15 euros cheaper it is. I can look for something, of course, but um, just pay attention if you go there. Just to take a sip of water because it's really hot today. So this is my um, Cosmo cardigan. It should be ready by the 19th of September. So it will be my main focus in the next coming uh, weeks. But it's really, it's not a, it's not a punishment to uh, focus on this one. So yeah, I really like it. It will also be the very first time I'm doing a double knit uh, button bands. And then another whip you have seen before, actually, is the Nordland sweater for my husband, which I'm um, knitting in Holst Coast. So as you can see, I'm pretty far. I only have to do two more centimeters of the body before I can do the ribbing. So um, yeah, that should be fine, uh, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, this is actually the project I'm working on when it's too hot to work on the Cosmo because the Cosmo has more hair and this one doesn't uh, so it's easier to work on this one and also the first days uh, when I had COVID I couldn't focus on a chart so I knitted a lot on this one. If you have a look at where the chocolate piece is that was where I was last time so I have knitted quite a lot since then. I'm not sure if I'll have if I will have enough of the light grey yarn because I'm mixing two threads of the light grey and one of the darker grey uh, but I will not panic by now so I will finish the body, weigh uh, the uh, comb and then knit the sleeve if it's possible to knit a sleeve out of it and then calculate how much I would need to finish a second sleeve and buy that instead of just panic buying now because you can buy it on cones of 500 grams but you also can uh, buy 50 gram bulbs, so uh, we should be fine with that. And although it will, might be not a dye lot, because I mix it with a dark grey, I think it should be fine. So that's the Nordland sweater for my husband. And then I have... Oh, I have two other books, but the other one should be... Well, I should still take the other one, sorry. I will first show this one and then go and pick up the other one. I think it's kind of tradition that I forgot it, forget a book downstairs. So this is a broken rope sock from uh, Summerlee in cotton yarn from Sachenmeyer. And for the second sock, I didn't do a lot. If you see the stitch, stitch marker, that was that is where I was last time. So I'm still knitting on the cuff, uh, on the on the leg actually. So it's not a lot, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, something, I guess. Um, I will finish it in September, uh, but I focused on the other two socks. It's um, also, it's not because the pattern is too difficult or something, but these are my Haya Haya VPNs and they are so sharp. I really don't like knitting with them. So this will most likely be my last project on these. That's how life goes, I guess. But this is my traveling project now. So I uh, put it in my um, backpack. Like if we go picnicking or uh, yeah, something like that or in the car. So I will take it uh, and it should be finished in September. And now I will just go and pick up my other. So I'm back with my last whip. Well, my last active whip because I have plenty of other whips, but this is the last active one. This is my color work sock. It has been in the naughty corner for a few weeks, but I have picked it up again. Um, let me just show you the color work. Um, uh, now it fits over my heel, so I tried it yesterday evening, it fits. This is the first part of the color work. And now it's time to introduce the blue. This is the blue I will have to introduce now. And the rest of the sock is quite um, plain, so let me just show you. Um, 
I just need something to cover the pattern. Yeah. So this will be the sock. As you can see, uh, the rest of the sock has only a limited amount of color work, so it should be fine uh, to uh, fit that over my heel. So, looking forward to finish it. Um, I'm using 3mm needles for the color work and 2.5 for the rest. So, looking forward to that as well. And that's all concerning active ribs. I do have other ribs as well, as I told you, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Plans. So, I have a basket full of plans and somewhere a project bag. Okay, first things first, uh, I have been selected to test the Pippin sweater from the Lit Pro Girl. Um, it took me a while to get the yarn because uh, at first I was in COVID isolation and then uh, the yarn shop has uh, summer hours, which means they are not open that frequently and I didn't know, so yeah, well. It took me a few days to get there. This is Amel Malmedy in a really nice uh, red. It's more red than the uh, camera shows, but I really like it. So I will cast this one on, I think, tomorrow or the day after. So, perfect. Amel Malmedy is uh, more like a sports weight, light DK weight, which would be perfect for the Pippin. I got perfect gauge, so I swatched with some leftover Malmedy yarn I have here uh, in the stash, but I didn't have a swatches quantity, but um, I knew I would uh, get gauge. It's a cheap yarn, it's 32 euros for the sweaters quantity in my size, so that's perfect. Um, so that's actually perfect for that. I went to Mooi Gemaakt in Willebroek to buy it. Um, it's also like the, the shop exploded, but it's exploded per dialogue, so you don't have to look for the right dialogue. Uh, it's just, uh, it's exploded, but it's fine. First plan, but a really early plan actually. And then I also took the leftover from my sock while I was downstairs. Uh, so this is the leftover of the sock I have shown you before. And then I will use the lilac for the heels and the yellow for the cap and the toes. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. And then, um, this is a yarn we've seen before but without a plan. It's yarn I bought uh, when we were at Tessel. Uh, this, uh, yeah, I think early summer, I would call it May, June. I will make a call for my husband for it. I'm trying to design one myself because I can't find what I'm looking for but I'm trying to design one that has some kind of shorter shaping so that the back is lifted a bit compared to the front so we'll see if that works out or not otherwise I have to go back and then um, I went to um, the knit and not fair as you can see in another uh, video I will link here um, but I dyed some yarn for a storyline shawl which I really want to cast on soon. It's a combination of merino uh, with a glitter in it and some silk mohair. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's so fluffy. Da, da, da. I was just looking, do I have everything? Yeah. Um, then, at the end of September, the uh, online break campus of Miriam Molenbeek, of which I am part of, will have a, a tutorial for a toe up sock. I did toe up before but I was never pleased with the toe so I really want to learn it there and I will use this uh, yarn with cashmere in. It's actually, if I have a look, 70% virgin wool, 25% polyamide and 5% cashmere so I will use that yarn to make that toe soft. And then I want to knit one for my husband as well uh, in this host garn Highlands uh, sock yarn. It has a really nice twist. So I really want to knit socks for my husband as well. So those are the plans I have in the hopefully not so distant future, but there are a lot of plans, so they can be more distant. We'll just put everything back because I still have to record the Dutch one after this. Acquisition-wise, uh, you know, learning acquisitions, oops, 
I don't do, but I have one acquisition I wanted to show you. It's on a project. Just a moment. Yeah, I have it here. It's the Mindful Needle M uh, cable from Knitpro. So I ordered these ones from Knitcut in Ghent, in Belgium, and they're really lovely. Like, um, they can twist, so the um, needle can twist from the thread, uh, from the cable, without untwisting. I really like it. Um, the needle is perfect shape-wise. Um, yeah, it's not too pointy because my higher highs I have are really pointy. Um, which I want. wanted when I bought them. I wanted them for yarn that requires that. Uh, and for projects that require that. But for this thing, uh, for this project, I don't need it. So I'm really looking forward to that. My birthday is next month, so I kindly um, gave the hints to my husband about the complete set. I don't know if he, wants, he will listen to it, uh, but I truly hope he will. So we'll see if he gets it or not. So <clears throat> that's actually uh, my acquisition I wanted to show you. Um, next to that, what do I have to tell you? Um, I have been added to a uh, Discord group for a knit group uh, with some people from mainly UK and Europe. So I'm really looking forward to that. We will have our first online knit group on ne on Tuesday next week. So I'm really looking forward to meet them. It's still a little bit looking and seeing because I don't know Discord that well, but it will be fine, I guess. Um, so that's one thing. Um, I'm also looking with a friend, with a physical friend in Belgium to have a knit group in Belgium. Um, a physical one then, but we're still looking if we can get a location or not, so that's fun as well. Um, then concerning the podcast recommendations, um, I'm watching a lot of podcasts, uh, but um, not a lot of new ones, and I kind of forgot which ones I already recommended. Um, but I do think that I did not recommend Nina Maria yet. Nina Maria is a uh, girl that lives in Germany uh, currently, uh, but uh, she has lived in the UK, in Austria, like I think she has lived everywhere. Um, so she has a German and an English podcast, and we are quite frequently in the same test groups. So uh, it's really nice to watch her podcast and see the things that I make on her body as well. So she has tested with me the Farfa top and the Sandal sweater. And if I'm correctly, she's in the Pippin sweater uh, test group as well. So it's really lovely to see uh, the same patterns uh, with her yarn choices. So um, that's really lovely. Uh, so I would really not recommend going there. She has a lot of whips, <laughs> uh, just as I do. Uh, so please go and check her out. I have no idea how long this episode will be, I think around 30 minutes. It feels like I was rambling a lot and going everywhere, but I hope it's fine and that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm planning on uh, recording a episode about the summer knits I made, so like a uh, overview of the summer knits and also like a uh, review of how they were to wear them actually. So I will uh, plan to do. I'm planning to do that in September. So if you have any questions concerning one of the summer knits you have seen here, uh, please uh, go and leave a comment below. And anyway, just like and subscribe because it really helps me. Thank you.